Hey, this is Chris. I'm going to give you some InsoFast electrical running installation tips. Um, one of the things that I've noticed was that when you go to put in electrical with the InsoFast system, if you're not, if you don't do this a lot and you try to run the Romex up through the built in slots, what happens is if it hits something, it, it starts to gouge its way into the um, insofast insulation. There's not much of the channel for the wire to go in. And then once, it's, once it starts hitting the corner, I'm getting it to do this. It may start gouging into it. And so I've never really had much success running the in so fast wiring um, in the in so fast system because at some point it starts gouging in, either going up the channel or going down here catch in here and start going in. It's one of the disadvantages of the system. They say you can do it, and if you're a professional, you may be able to uh, do this. You may be able to feel it and prevent the gouging. But, you know, when I redo my basement and I work, I'm working on a bathroom now in the basement, when it goes and gouges in, I can't continue to run the wire. But I found a solution that works really well. I had a um, a uh, device that cleans out um, laundry lines. It's made out of a fiberglass um, fiberglass uh, rod, so it's extremely bendable. And uh, and what I found is is that this makes running wire in uh, the Insofast system much easier. So. What you can do, since it's rigid, it's tr it, it wants to stay straight. The Romex, on the other hand, doesn't really want to stay straight. And so what happens is it, it gouges into the system. It gouges into the styrofoam. So this, on the other hand, uh, goes in really easily. So you can easily make it go down. You see it's moving really nice behind the system. I'm getting no catches. And then run it here, pull it out, and then all I really do is I duct tape the Romex onto the end of this and then pull it back out. And in this way, people who don't use the Insofast system much, like myself, uh, I found it much more effective. So I've actually used this this exact fiberglass pole to do the whole basement, which is you know several hundred square feet wide. Put in multiple outlets, ran wires around the whole perimeter of it through the system. So if you are were like me in trying to run Romex through the Insofast channels that are built in, and we're getting frustrated by it, get yourself a plumbing snake or even get yourself one of these uh, fiberglass rods for um, cleaning out dryer vents and uh, just use duct tape. And that's all I did. Use duct tape on this dryer vent rod. It worked out perfectly. So I hope you enjoy my tip.